just about set to go now and towing the slab Gavin Stone what do we need to know here yeah and his whip tells you he's been pretty effective this year on the mound I mean opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path so taking the mound this is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate and I expect him to be good in this one and now the DH Austin Slater the pitch in there at the knees and we are underway. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. On the ground. Taylor. Slings to first. One up, one down. All right, let's take a look at the Orioles lineup now. And no doubt a big factor in this series so far, Ramon Urias. This guy had an on-base percentage of over 400 last month. That's just telling you he's taking his walks, he's getting his knocks, he's finding some holes. Everything just going really well for him right now. But don't overlook the fact that that happens because he's having consistently good at-bats. Adley Rutschman in the box now as he leaves that one up high. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. And another ball. ball. Two balls, no strike. There's a strike up high. And a count two and one. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. And a good oh, eye guy. there. And yeah, there's ball, ball four. four. That in third. The short shot. Runner on at first with one gone. Henderson. Gunner Henderson getting ready to hit. There's a strike. All one's the count. Rutschman leads off first with one away. Good oh, eye right there. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have ball, as much outside plate coverage. Two balls, one strike. Late on that fastball. Oh, he shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still trying to get that ground ball double play. Kicks and fires. Helpful. Man at first, one away. In the air, left side. Hernandez has it sized up. And there's two away. Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander at the plate. Ah. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. Now a pop up on the infield. Settles underneath it. And that is that. And the Orioles leave one. And now the Dodgers get a crack at it. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine. And today's starter, Dean Kremer. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, that whip is just below the league average, and that's a good thing in this case, not allowing too many base runs. So, on most days, he's going to go out there and compete and put his team in a position to win. And I expect to see that from him in this one today. Kevin Kiermaier stands in here, leaves that one off the inside.
Down the middle for a strike. And it's one and one. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And oh. another ball. Ground ball up the middle. Fires over to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Let's take a look at the lineup. Not a whole lot going their way offensively the last few games, Chris. Yeah, but again, that can put more pressure on the pitching staff to try to limit the opponent to just one or two runs a game, knowing that their offense is not scoring right now. And that never really works well because you try to be too fine and you end up giving up a lot of runs. So we'll see if everybody can just relax, bring things together, and perform at a level that they're capable of. One out, base is empty. The next oh. pitch misses, and that's ball one. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball, he stays alive. and misses it's a strikeout couldn't catch up to the heater two outs base is empty Freddie Freeman up to the dish first pitch and he just misses two outs that's a strike and a count one and one. This to third, Urias sends it across the first, and the Dodgers are set down in order. Dodgers go down quietly. We played an inning, no score. Here at Dodger Aloy. Stadium, Aloy Jimenez Aloy. now. Aloy Jimenez. Stone back to work. Stone one. goes six foot one. He features a four seam fastball, a change up, a slider, and he works in a two seamer. Nope. That Wouldn't chase that time. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make players earn it. Aye. Out front with the swing, and that Two is strike one. one. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two and two. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Colton Kowser now at the plate as he swings for strike one. And the right-hander deals. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Near the fence. Muncy makes a nice run and catch. That is that, that, the first the base. base. He made Two outs. Old. Base is empty. Rivera. And now the first baseman, Emmanuel Rivera. And first offering is fouled off. Strike. 
slider misses outside. Second inning here, no score. Fouls it off, still one and two. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup, and the Orioles set down in order. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. Bottom of the second. Here come the Dodgers. No score. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Teoscar Hernandez. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers right through there for a strike. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Perfectly executed 12 6 curveball right That's there. And with that kind of break, if you can drop it in below the zone like that, it's going to look like a strike the entire way coming in and then just disappear. So hard to get under the ball unless you're really gearing up for it and you might need a pitching wedge. And here comes Tommy Edmond. One down, base is empty. The yep, shortstop the takes out. the ball. Next offering is in for a strike. The wind of the pitch. Got him. And there is another strikeout. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. And now it's Max Muncy. Fastball for a strike. Two down, nobody on. That one fouled off. Next offering way off the plate. And That's another ball. swinging and that's strikeout number 100 on the year Dodgers down in order we'll move to the third with no score well here we go top of the third scoreless game and into the box for Baltimore Ramon Urias now the right hander ready to go still no score bounce to third Muncie Tosses across oh. the first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. So next to hit for Baltimore, Jackson Holiday. Just missed. Top of the third, no score. Next oh, pitch is outside. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So it's a good take by him. That oh, one misses. Three and one. That's going for a streak. Off 
again. And it remains three and two. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Lifted in the air down the left side. Two down. No, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of them that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Austin Slater stands in. Grounded out his first time up. Line drive. And that's a base hit. So Adley Rutschman now gets a chance with two gone. No, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Here's Adley Rutschman. Fouled off. He was late. Stone checks on first. Back standing. He's in there safely. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Sliced hard, but foul. Foul ball still 0-2. all they get we head down to the home half of inning number three we're tied nothing nothing back here Leading in up. LA Leading bottom up. of the inning here's Kike Hernandez Kike Hernandez the right hander back to work pitch ball misses one, no and that is ball one Delivers outside. Nice. There's the strike. it back with two strikes that's a laser base hit man aboard on the leadoff single and now Hunter Fiducia Fall off foul. The old one. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Hernandez gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Chases that one out of the zone. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Here comes Chris Taylor. Will oh. chase that time. Taylor, a middle infielder by trade, played his college baseball at the University of Virginia. Right into the play. In the air, right field. Santander in pursuit. Drops into the glove. Two down. Now, now the designated hitter, Kevin Kiermaier. 
Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Kiermaier now. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. Bounce to the right. He takes it himself oh. to the bag, and that'll do it. So the Dodgers leave one. Still no score. As we go to the top of the fourth, stepping in, the slugging shortstop, Gunnar Henderson. Henderson. Yeah, the right hater back to work. A little out front there as he swings through it. You know, oh these Orioles, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. And one and two. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond. And they just keep eating right out of your hand. Left hand batter waits. Rip to short. The throw to first. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Now back. Wait, wait. Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander, the next to hit for the Orioles. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. That pitch in for a strike. 1-1. One, one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. One Way ball. inside. Down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Adam out front for the strikeout. Here's Aloy Jimenez. He's all for one. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. That one missing inside. All tied up. Top half of inning number four. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Up the middle. Oh, nice play to first. Got him. A beautiful play to end the inning. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. Ready to go. Bottom four. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Mookie Betts. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. And yeah, a foul ball. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Next offering upstairs. Right. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. The one two. Swings and misses. And that's the first out. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Grounded out his first time. That yeah. one finds the zone, and that is strike one. one. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is 
running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. And a foul ball. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. Makes the catch. Two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't yeah. barrel it up enough to really drive it. And now Teoscar Hernandez. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And he hits a ground ball right side. Tosses to first. That's the third out. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. And we're still knotted at zero. set for the start of the inning and now it's going to be Colton Kowser. I think when you contemplate him as a player the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed if he can get on that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Slapped hard the other way but foul. And now the one. Chopped out towards short. Edmund. To first, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. No, He's no, been no. in attack mode the since the very start. Emmanuel and here's the first baseman, Rivera. Emmanuel Rivera. Rivera, oh, in his third season, 27 years old, and they traded for him earlier this year. That That's misses open. the zone. Now 2-0. Probably looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Next oh, offering three. upstairs. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. And a four-pitch no, walk. Take the break. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk and guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Here's the third baseman, Ramon Urias, grounded out his first time. Popped up, drifts towards it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. So two down now, and here is Jackson Holiday. And that one's a little bit low. Ball one. Rivera, the runner at first with two gone. And another ball. Two and out. Two up. Pulls that one foul. And he deals. That one fouled off. Two and two. Righty delivers. And the inning is over. He continues to roll on the mound as five shutout innings are in the books. And we still have no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Shelby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five. Tommy Edmund. Kremer back to work. The Not shortstop the takes one. the ball. That hey. flips the corner. The 1-1. One, one. That's Two down and in. K 
Jenks and Diaz. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Well you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. That yeah, one in the dirt good. and the count is filled up. Lifted in the air out to left and it falls. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Now that Good. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Muncy digs in. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And that one fouled off. Pitch. And that one fouled off. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And that oh, one is inside. Track. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch, so got to stay ready for it. Left-hand hitter waits. Wouldn't nope, chase inside, that time. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. I really think the outer half is open. That misses the zone, and that's ball three. Enrique Hernandez up next. That one is absolutely belted. Kowser gives chase. And a superb diving catch. You love to see when a guy's hungry to make a play right there. An excellent Come diving catch. You can absolutely yeah. tell he was all oh, in and tracking that ball down. Here's Kike Hernandez. One for one with a single so far. Fouled off down the right side. One down. And That's that one missing low. Gonna lay off that pitch down. One oh. High fly ball out to center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away now. The bat. The catch. Hunter. Fiducia. Here's the catcher to hit. Hunter Fiducia. there in its own one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Oh, Just one. missed. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Last half of inning number five. That's ripped. And this one could be extra bases. Edmund around second, headed for third. Coming home. He will score, and they take the lead. one nothing. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here comes Chris Taylor. Flied to right. His first time. Pitch Ooh, misses inside. inside, and it's one and oh. And the righty deals. That's and another ball. Love how this guy grinds out at bats. I mean, he's down there at the bottom of the lineup in the nine hole, but he's worked himself into a really good hitter's count, trying to pick up a two out RBI. Out towards right center field. Sizes this one up. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Dodgers with the run scoring double. It's now a 1-0 ball game.
You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at Dodger Stadium, top of the sixth inning. Now it's the DH, Austin Slater. Here comes a pitch. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. That missed by a lot. Going to count one and two. And that just misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Way down high. Three three. On this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Why to kick the pitch? Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one out now. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. And next for the Orioles, Adley Rutschman. And that's through there for a strike. The wind and the pitch. And it's strike two. No ball, two strike. The Dodgers leading by a run. And we're in the top half of the sixth. That one, one well upstairs. It's a ball and two strikes. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a pitch. Not even close there. And it's two and two. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Task with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. you got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup hey. coming up with the base runner could become dangerous. Henderson in the box now. No balls in a strike. They only say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. There's a little bit more confidence to move through the attack. That hey. one finds the zone. Oh, a two down. And they'll do it again. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And it's a three up, three down inning. Orioles held in check there. They still trail one nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine. There's Kevin Kiermeyer. The Here's a fun Kevin. fact. Dodger Stadium was also by the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Kevin. Anaheim Stadium to be built. When the Angels were playing games at home, instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. And that's off the inside edge. Two balls, no strikes. Swing and a miss, strike one. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. Next offering is foul back. Now all leave it up. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. And a pitch. Got him swinging. 
Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Santander pulls that one down, two up, two down. The first base is number five. Two outs, base is empty. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That oh. one off the mark, 1-0. Oh. Ball one, no strike. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. That's in there, and it's 1-1. One and one. Two down, nobody on. This one lifted in the air, left field. Dives and it gets by. Around second now as they still don't have it. And he'll make it into third with a triple. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Runner at third, two gone. Teoscar Hernandez now at the plate. He's been a great free agent side. Nope. Off the plate, right. ball one. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you could make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So a good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. And here it comes. Swing and a foul straight back. One one now. Got him to chase one upstairs there. One ball, two strikes. Next That's pitch outside. is outside. Freeman on third with two out. Three. Got him looking. That ends the frame. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Dodgers one and the Orioles nothing. And we're back. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Anthony Santander. The pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Seems like the hitters are struggling with their timing today. Kind of caught in between that sharp fastball and the nasty slider. I'd like to see him settle on a consistent one one. pitch. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Anthony Bonda looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Kelly getting loose as well. Looking to get the tying run on base. And a count one and two. And a pitch. Right side, hard hit. In plenty of time to first. That's the first out at the top of the seventh. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. So digging in, Aloy Jimenez. Just oh, off the great. outside edge, and that's ball one. Trying to hold a one-run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. The one-two. And another ball. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it.
Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Rings down looking. Colton Kowser, the next to hit for the Orioles. Kowser, a very strong candidate for Rookie of the Year. He's been a real story, one of the best young players in the majors this season. And that's downstairs and outside. Fastball for a strike. He's gotten into a really good rhythm, set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. In the air to left, down the line. He's got it. And that is that. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They trail here, one nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Tommy Edmond at the plate. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Going along. Movement in the bullpen. Keegan Aiken, the left-hander, up and throwing. Soto also getting ready. The pitch. Inside corner at the knees. That's a strike. Good fastball. The shortstop takes a ball. The one two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just Man. become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. Ball oh, one there. Good. Pitch misses, and that's ball two. Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom of the seventh. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Santander settles under it and makes the catch. Yeah, there's two away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly no, no, all no, no, over. No, 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 no. But sometimes you hit it too yeah. hard and right at someone. Uh, and, yeah, looking yeah. for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. Hernandez hey. stands in now and watches strike one. Two outs. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Stays alive. Two outs, base is empty. Next pitch in the dirt, and the count 1 and 2. That's in the dirt. Just one out away from seven strong innings and just at 100 pitches. Man, pretty impressive. They've got to be happy with what they've gotten from him out there today. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Dodgers go down quietly, but they hold a 1 0 lead. Looks like it'll be a pinch hitter, Ryan O'Hearn. And he would be the tie and run boot, so we may see him try to launch one if he gets a good pitch to handle. Stone back to work. This one driven deep, way back there, and it's gone. We are tied. He powers that one out of here, and we're starting over. It's 1 1. 
He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. This one absolutely screamed out of here, Singy. A late zero. That cast tells us it was 112 miles an hour off the bat. Yeah, it left in a real hurry and didn't go that far because of the launch angle being a little flatter, but clearly it had all the velocity it needed to leave the yard. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Gavin Stone done for the night, and he was a tough nut to crack. Pretty stingy from start to finish. Back with the new arm after a quick break. Alex Vesia takes over on the mound. And this is his 55th game he's come in to pitch this season. So he's got some innings under his belt. He's been an important guy for them. And into the box for Baltimore, Ramon Urias. And fouled off. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. <laughs> Missing inside, and it's one and one. pitch that's inside ball two that's a really good take right there a slider down and in very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with next pitch is downstairs Jackson Holiday next to bat for Baltimore nobody on nobody out and we're in the top of the eighth for a strike. Oh boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Oh, man, just locked him up with that slider. Even though it caught a lot of the zone, and I think that tells you all you need to know about what he was looking for in the box, and it clearly was not that pitch. Next to hit, Jackson Holiday. Fought off foul. And now the lefty. That breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly it is nothing at two. One down, base is empty. And now one and two. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Daniel Hudson, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Otani, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. At the belt and fires. And that's off the inside edge. And it's two and two. Hit hard on the ground is short. Rolls across oh. the diamond. Play is made two out. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Austin Slater, the next to hit for the Orioles. One for three. Pitch in the dirt, and that's ball one. Two down, nobody on. That pitch clips the outside corner. And the count one and one. That one almost got him. Straightened him yeah, up a little bit. One strike.
In the air left field. Hernandez sizing it up. He's got it. And that is that. Solo homer brings in one for Baltimore. All even at one apiece. Major League Baseball is on the show. Staying in the game on defense, Ryan O'Hearn. He pitched hit last half and now takes over at first. Pitching change here, Keegan Aiken. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Hunter Fiducia, one for two. As the lefty gets to work. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Activity in the bullpen for Baltimore. Yenier Cano, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. The pitch. That's ball two. Two balls, no strikes. That's in there. Left field, Jimenez trying to get there. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. The yeah, there's one away. Well, such Second a confidence base, boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. In the dirt, ball one. And he deals. In the air, out towards left center. And they get the out on Smith. And a couple of quick outs. Now, the designated hitter, Kevin. Kevin Kiermeyer steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Aiken, 29 years old, and he was a second round pick back in 2016. All tied up here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. The 1 1 is fouled off. Two outs. Fights it off. You'll see another. Kicks and deals. Foul ball still. A one and two count. The pitch. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. So they make short work of him there. Ninth inning coming up. All tied. One, one. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Daniel Hudson. And if you dig into his walk rate, his numbers are really impressive. He's really filled up the strike zone this season, so these batters better be ready to swing the bats. So coming into the game now on defense, Miguel Rojas. He'll play second. And here is Adley Rutschman. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him. Control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing. But it's that big arm that really stands out. And here it comes. Fastball for a strike. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. Riding to the play. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two.
He fouls it off. We'll do it again. And that one is in the dirt. Now one and two. Strikeout for the first out here in the night. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get out. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Gunnar Henderson, the next to hit. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. And that one fouled off. <laughs> on the ground, right side. Steps on oh. first for the out. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might Up not be the most warrior. challenging we've seen the today, right but... It Anthony needed to be made. Santander. That's helping your team. Anthony Santander, the next to hit for the Orioles. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. And ball one. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Bobby Miller, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the ninth. Foul ball there. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Wow, that's 89 on the gun, and it's a changeup. It's like good hitting if you're looking for it, but because of the speed differential between the fastball and that pitch, really hard for a hitter to get on time with it. Right-hander kicks deals. Thank you. That one misses, and the count's full. Aloy Jimenez hitting on deck circle. Two down, nobody on. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Three-two on the way. And it's ball four. He missed down low. The back. So next they hit from Baltimore. Aloy Jimenez. Over three with two strikeouts and a ground out. Swung on. Belted. Way back there. And that one's gone. A two-run blast. It's his sixth home run of the season, and now they're out in front. It's 3-1. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So two down. Colton Kowser digs in now. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Okay. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Way One outside. Ball. One and two to count. Hey. 
swings and misses. It's a strikeout. And some late inning drama here in the ninth as this homer gives them the lead. It's now a 3-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Craig Kimbrell. Now he last pitched two days ball. ago. Number 46, Craig Kimbrell. Here's Mookie Betts. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. That one fouled off. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Now, Boog, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. Good job to fight that one off. Kicks and fires. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Right-handed reliever. Three. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. The Come in three, and and close the door. Red cancel red. any hope that the opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Freeman, batting with one down, takes a strike. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Line drive, pulls it in, and there's two away. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. So last chance for the Dodgers. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. one Two-run game, a two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. But they won't have a play as he takes first on the drop third strike. Well, you don't see it very often, but every once in a while, a guy strikes out and still somehow ends up safe on first. And when it happens, you kind of scratch your head. But I guess sometimes a pitch is so nasty, it makes everyone miss. Now they're going to have to get more than three outs in this inning. And up next for Los Angeles, Tommy Edmond. And a foul ball. The tying run at the plate. Just missed. That's ball two. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. And the runner stays where he is. With the tying run at the plate, they're the last half of inning number nine. Right down the chute, it's two and two. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. The Dodgers down to their final strike. Lifted in the air down the left side, and that's a fair ball. Throw in holds the lead runner at second, 
two on now with two away. That's tremendous <laughs> fight from him. And I know it's got Man. the dugout fired up down there. Oh, down to the last strike. And he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. Here comes Max Muncy. That's in for a strike. So the tying run is second. And now the count is even. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. At that time, and it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. One, two now. Line to left. And that's a fair ball. And now it gets into the corner. One runs in. Here comes Edmund around third. He scores to tie it up. It's three up. Huge moment for him and his team, dude. You know, some guys just grip it a bit too tight in a big spot like this, having a chance to tie it up in the bottom of the ninth. But he didn't let the moment get to him. Comes up with the RBI knock, and now he's giving his teammates a chance to walk this thing. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, Yenier Cano. And he's been really shutting down hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, not a lot of hits, period. So, runner at second, two down. Kike Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. There's a strike. All in one. Winning run and scored position with two away. Ball. And now it's even up. I got a ball, one strike. In the air, out towards right center. Brings it in, and that will end the inning. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. We're tied now with three apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now, we're at extras, and there's a new arm of the mound, Shohei Otani. On for his major league debut, so we'll see if he's ready. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to him. He's already homered in this game. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played oh, today, right though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Great on that fastball. Yeah, I think part of that goes into it's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters don't go deep, and so hitters are seeing multiple pitchers every night, and that makes it more challenging just to come up with a single. Man, it's second. And that one fouled off. third baseman Ramon Urias well first base open really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here put him on have the force at second first perhaps Aye. getting any ending double play meanwhile activity in the bullpen Bobby Miller looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts Phillips warming up as well one out the go-ahead run is at second swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Well, it's kind of deflating. You blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth. So here's a new opportunity. Hit the reset button. Try to get some more runs and then close it out in the bottom half of this one. one and ball. this one squirts away from the catcher. Kowser up to third on the wild pitch.
battling here as he fouls it away. One away with a runner at third. And here in extra innings. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, that's a huge strikeout right there. Big second out. Infield was in. They were playing the full court press, and he got the swing and miss. Keeps this one tied. This next at bat should be a lot of fun. The odds of wiggling out of this just went up considerably. So up next, Jackson Holiday. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And a swing and a miss there. One and one. And the Two next ball. pitch is one. way outside. Swings through that one out in front that time. Two ball, two strike. Chopped on the ground. Freeman takes it to the back, and it's a one, two, three inning. One left for the Orioles. Still tied, three and three. Fiducia. And a pitch. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Way out front for strike two. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Left hand batter waits. Got him swinging for the K. Pulled the string on the changeup. He's locked in at the plate when he's using now the whole field. He's out front field. there. Just needs to let we the ball travel out. a little more, and his timing will be back oh, on track. Oh, oh. Good pitch for the strikeout. Miguel Rojas at the plate, taking his first at bat of the game after entering on defense. Hey. Oh, one's the count. One away, the winning run at second. Next offering is downstairs. Wouldn't chase that time. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a miss. And the count's even at two. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Kevin Kiermaier up next for the Dodgers. The winning run on second base. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And yeah, the righty deals. And he walked him. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. Yeah, but you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Next is the designated hitter, Kevin Kiermaier. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. All one. Next pitch misses. And one and one. 
Winning run at second with one away here in extra innings. Swings and misses. One ball. Now one or two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Two on, one out. And that one is lifted in the air. That's back there. Out of here. And that ends the game. Wow. A three-run homer. And the Dodgers walk it off in extra innings. Extra innings, it seems like every guy is trying to come up with the big swing to hit the homer and end the ball game. Well, he did it. Huge swing of the bat, and we're all headed home. Six-three, our final score. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.